Hello. Uh, welcome to the FluentCon North America. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining this conference today. Very excited to have you and uh, people connecting virtually as well. I am Hisa, one of the Fluent community members, uh, working with uh, colleagues and friends to accelerate adoption of FluentD and explore where the new adventure, next adventure is to bring industry to the next level. It is my privilege to share what we've been working and then discuss what we can work together as a community. As a community. I also run a CTO office of a company called Itochu Techno Solutions America, a Silicon Valley arm of a publicly traded global IT solution provider. People sometimes call us a CTC. In this session, I will talk about our effort on some of the operation and the security challenges as we contributed a tool called Diag Tool, which is allowing you to automate some of your troubleshooting process. And in terms of security-wise, we contributed a plugin called Sanitizer, which masks sensitive information in your Fluent D pipeline to bring another level of data security in your organization. OK, let's get started. First of all, a little bit about us. We are uh, one of the IT solution providers in California, driving technology enablement around hyperscale and cloud-native technology such as open compute project initiated by Facebook, allowing people to operate infrastructure at the scale, addressed by data center hardware designs, and cloud-native patterns of operational practices made available from companies who run their applications and infrastructures at scale and driven by CNCF. Many of you already know, but FluentD is, I would say, a de facto standard open source software for your very first mile towards the entire observability journey, which provides a unified layer for logging and now supports metrics. It is a graduated CNSF project. There are more than 7K plus contributors across 1K plus companies, and the community is still growing. Well, we see why people start using FluentD and FluentBit, or where people think logs to be distributed and are used in multiple tools around observability. Data generated by machines are not only for application infrastructure monitoring, but for more evolving use cases such as machine learning, utilizing the data across different applications and security tools more instantly and storing for a long period of time for compliance or sometimes for forensic purpose. Also, because FluentD has out-of-box capabilities around data processing, such as processing and filtering, more people look at this as a tool to manage data volume by removing fields and records. However, Although those are very important, I would say uh, operation is much harder job, and the people spend more time than just selecting a new software. Matter of fact, there are the, some of the things that we hear more from our friends and colleagues in the community. Scalability is where we see there are more considerations and practices need to be incorporated to run fluently at scale. TK, who is my colleague, will talk more about it in the afternoon. Configuration is also another element that does not only matter at the initial implementation, but how we would maintain and make sure how properly FluentD is running in your infrastructure is another topic, which our friends in Caleptia talk today. Now let's talk about uh, Diag tool first. Uh, through the course of activities, we've identified a few typical problems within a troubleshooting process. First one is a configuration error. One example is a file descriptor in a kernel parameter, which needs to be increased. Uh, second is collecting necessary logs itself. Lastly, information of your specific system, such as FQDN, IP addresses, name of your applications, in your fluent logs, all logs that you're delivering to destinations shouldn't be exposed for troubleshooting process. There are what we addressed, uh, those are what you addressed in uh, the, with the Diag tool. 
Diag tool is a tool to simplify troubleshooting process and make it more secure. This tool delivers the functions you need to automate your manual checking and the data collection processes in order to accelerate the troubleshooting activities. The tool does three things. First one is collecting parameters, configuration, and logs. Then validation allows these parameters to be checked if those are configured properly. Lastly, masking sensitive information such as FQDN, IP addresses, and you can also specify your own keywords by using regex before sending you those configuration logs to experts for troubleshooting. Another area that we addressed was security. Huge amount of data has been collected from machines. Collected data is consumed for several purposes. However, not all the operation and security members do not have to see raw privacy data or confidential data within the collected logs. That's where the idea of sanitizer plugging came from. And this tool does mask specified data in a fluent pipeline as one of the filter plugins. This will allow you to maintain data security and privacy policy within your organization and then potentially prevent a risk of data breach. This slide shows you how sanitizer plugin can be utilized for those use cases where we need raw privacy data need to be masked. This plugin does it uh, within a Fluent D pipeline. And if you would like to store all privacy, I mean, raw privacy data for compliance or forensic purpose, Sanitizer will give a flexibility to allow you to configure what destinations you would like to turn the masking on and what destination you would like to send the raw, raw data as well. Now let's take a look at how, the, how this works in motion. I showed a video that demonstrates the Sanitizer plugin. So let me play with it now. Let's first see. The example is to mask IP and hosting. Let's first see the config file. OK. All right. And then you can now specify, find key, IP and host rules are configured with patterns. These are a preset masking rules, so you don't have to write a regex right here. And then let's see, um, uh, we send the logs there. In this case, we are using Elastic here. You will see data are already masked. And now, uh, let's go to uh, a regex. Second, I'm utilizing regex. Let's go to a configuration here. Uh, this case is uh, utilizing a phone number as an example, plus social security number type of format data. And then uh, we configure it, writing regex there and then send your data to Elasticsearch. And then you see those logs to be sent. Data in Elastic are masked. So that's basically the uh, how Sanitizer works. As we are really embracing the community effort to bring this vendor neutral, unified and robust tools and a community to be accessible to everyone, we would like to also make sure your journey of uh, Fluent D, Fluent Bit has maximized value for your operation. And even by uh, working together, we will have many people in the organization to bring your observability journey to the next stage. Also to make your production use to be very confident uh, with the confidence, 
we have a commercial services around Fluentd Fluentbit, which is called Fluentd Subscription Network. Please contact us if you need any help. Well, this is uh, for my presentation. Uh, if uh, you have any questions or comments, I'll be around. And then hope you enjoy the rest of the conference and have a great day. Thank you.